Change is coming to the Pine Bluff Police Department following weeks of protest and the death of George Floyd. Good evening, I'm Marlisa Goldsmith. Tonight, community members spoke with the police chief and other city leaders on what can be done to prevent brutality. THV 11's Melissa Ziguitz takes us there. This is really the first time we've seen a city here in central Arkansas have an open conversation with community about what they want to see from law enforcement. The overarching topic here in Pine Bluff is better community policing. Life has changed, so it means our policies has to change as well. Pine Bluff Chief of Police Kelvin Sargent is looking to bring changes to the police department to better hold officers accountable. These policies were brought to me to consider. Some of those changes include prohibiting the use of chokeholds, requiring a verbal warning before shooting, a duty to intervene when an officer sees another officer using excessive force and forbidding officers from shooting and moving vehicles. What can we take out of this tonight that's going to spur change? With tables and chairs set six feet apart, the community had the chance to give their input on these policies. If they're not followed, what is the repercussions? The repercussions need to be strings. People also gave more suggestions. There be a policy inst instated that there is absolutely no shooting of an unarmed individual. But overall, most people just want to see officers get better at community policing and building better relationships. The police officers spend more time out of their car in neighborhoods than in them. The people, they know the police, they trust them, they feel like they're friends. In Pine Bluff, Melissa Zigowitz, THV 11 News. The duty to intervene policy and the ban on chokeholds are awaiting approval from the mayor and city council. If they pass, they will go into effect immediately.